Okay, so what if you want a second or more text block uh, within your shape that you can control its position with a control handle? Okay, so here's the shape. It's just a single shape at the moment. It's not a group. So on the developer tab, I can go to the group options and I can say convert to group. So now it's a group and I quite often add in this edit object and that's uh, you can just add in through customize the ribbon ribbon and go for all those that are not in the ribbon and I add it into an extras as you can see within there so this edit object one that you can bring in there gives you ability of opening up your group so I'm just going to open this up and it looks as though I've got nothing there but that's not quite true I do and let's say I insert, insert for example a second text block inside of it now that second text block at the moment is doing absolutely nothing I just put in a piece of text uh, so you can see that this something is there and I just close that now and well actually because I've got uh, a fill color which is the, the group shape at the moment, and you can't see that there is something behind it. So I'm just going to change the fill to this to no fill. And you'll see that there is a second text block in there. Now, if you do want to color background, obviously you put that on the text block that's behind it or another shape that's inside the group. Now that is there, as you can see. And again, it is uh, a, with a text block tool I can resize it and I can move it or oh, in fact this time it's the whole shape so this shape the parent shape if you like it has a shape name right that's sheet dot two as you can see so if I was to add into sheet dot two a another control handle which as we now know is quite easy to do and do uh, insert row in there Okay, now I've got that uh, sh second shape inside of there and I haven't yet got a control handle on it. So what is that shape called? That one is, oops, my developer shape name. That's sheet.1000. Okay, so would it work if I did a call set at ref? Save your device. Uh, Alexa can be quiet. <laughs> Set up ref. And what do I want to do? Uh, it's going to go to that text pin X and see if that works. Oh, it does. Right, now do that to text pin Y. Oh, okay. So wherever uh, that text block center is now, all right, it moves that I just happen to have uh, relocated the the text uh, shape inside of it so I'm now moving the text block of that second shape uh, that's inside there okay of course it could have been uh, the whole of that second shape that's inside there in which case it wouldn't have been text pin X it would have been just text X and text pin Y and that will move the whole shape I know I've moved that second text block in there, so I'm just going to reposition that back into roughly in centre there. I would really go back into my shape sheet and do that. And now it's moving the whole thing, as you can see there. So that is another way of adding in a second uh, text block that you can move. Now, what happens if the first shape has got some shape data on it, which usually you have for me, and that text is actually referring to the shape data that's inside of there. So let's just go and add in and some data into that. Let's just do task pane shape data. Um, I'll define shape data in there and put in my prop, whatever it is, as the label, the name, that will do. And I put in a value, anything there. Okay, so now that second text block, I wanted to read that. So when I go to uh, insert field, okay, now it doesn't show me that shape data because it's actually inside the group. So I'm going to go to the custom formula and that was uh, sheet.2 was the parent shape. 
and then it's propped up, in this case my prop. So now it's showing me anything there and that text can now be moved and it's part of the whole shape. And that's how you can insert that. Of course there is one other way you can do th uh, this is with a, a, one of these call out shapes here because they're pointing at that shape and in here it's just got text at the moment but if I go into insert field and go to custom formula there I don't need to know the ID of the shape that's going to in this case I just do a call out target reference and we go to uh, prop dot my prop in there I think I spelled it right and there we can see that this is now uh, showing me what's inside of there. Okay, so that's just an easy way of adding in a second control handle for a second text block, or you could use the, the call out uh, shape if you wanted to.